The grinding market is undergoing many changes that are being driven by globalization and advances in technology. Well, the drivers in as most industries are cost, optimizing production, support of our customers, lean manufacturing objectives, uh, achieving higher precision at the optimum cost and best part throughput. So we have many applications where we've taken multiple operations, uh, four or five or six or more operations, and condensed them into many less machines, in some cases one or two machines, which gives the customer more flexibility in their processing. And in the case of component supplier customers, gives them the confidence that by buying a Landis machine, they'll have the flexibility to do not only today's part requirements, but tomorrow's part requirements for current customers, future customers. The tool and cutter industry varies greatly from production grinding, but the industry trends are similar. A, a major trend over the last few years are smaller lot sizes. No one wants to stock large inventory, so they demand smaller lot sizes. For example, three-quarter inch tools that previously were made in lot sizes of 50 to 100 are now made in 10 to 20 batch sizes, so that's a, a driving trend. Also, accuracies, the demand on accuracies grows every year. Tolerancing that used to be in the range of one thousandths is now down into the three-tenths, two-tenths range. So again, a, another demand in the field. And the third thing I would like to mention is the changing geometries and cutting tools. Uh, things such as variable helixes, variable rakes, variable clearance angles are, are being developed to give better tool performance, lower chatter, lower vibration, but of course that's a higher demand in producing the cutting tool.